Welcome everybody to another unboxing. Um, although I don't think it's that much of an unboxing, just because I feel like they just wrapped them up in this bag with tape. Um, and I think the shoes are just wrapped up inside, so it's not really an unboxing. Um, it's a little bit my first thoughts on a review on a different kind of shoe. Once again, not Nike, um, not Adidas, not Puma. Um, we're going to go with another Mexican brand. This time these are called Manriquez. Never tried them, never seen them in person, never seen them in hand at all. Um, but I got to pick two colorways, so I picked two colorways. I'm going to show you guys right now. So I don't think my knife will cut through all this tape, so I just got some you know, scissors right here. And we're going to cut. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is just like a bag, <laughs> um, which is pretty weird for you know, sending out product, but as long as nothing is damaged and everything is okay, then that's all that matters. And open them up and give it a little bit more color. you think I would get better at this as time goes, but I really don't. I, mean, I guess I haven't unboxed enough, right? Just kidding. All right. So right away, um, I can already smell the leather. These are kangaroo leather shoes. They do for sure have the old school look, old school vibe to them. So let me get them out of this bag here. Look at that, that's a, a weird way to ship something. All right, so we're gonna do, I guess we'll do one at a time. I'll put this one off to the side just for now. First of all, I want to show you guys, uh, as you can see the box right here, it says Manriquez. Um, you can find these available on Amazon, I think eBay as well. Um, I don't know if you can search and they'll be sent from Mexico because these, this is a Mexican product from Mexico. Um, and yeah, um, so let's open up the full blackout. As you can see, it comes in a little wrapping. No string bag, of course, which I'm okay with. Uh, and then you can literally, you can smell the leather right when you pull it out of the box. And it has your um, American size, your Mexican size, and UK size. And it's just a total blackout boot. I was gonna bolt out. Uh, and it's got the huge fold over tongue, which, I'm a huge fan of right now as growing up I never really was able to get anything with a fold over tongue like this like the predators and stuff like that so now that I have a chance to like um, I, I, I'm I, not gonna waste I mean I'm gonna get them <laughs> let's put it that way now that I can get them I'm gonna get them um, but yeah so fold over tongue all leather kangaroo leather um, like I said I feel like most companies now the whole upper might be a kangaroo leather, but the back part is where you're gonna get like a synthetic. Um, this feels pretty sturdy. Um, I don't know how comfortable they are. Like I said, I haven't tried them on, obviously, but I'll do a fit test here in a little bit. Then you got your, just the basic stuff. Like I said, these, the, the reason why I'm going more traditional, old school, whatever you wanna call it, whatever I've been calling it, um, just because of the, ter the grounds that I play on and the grass sometimes is very muddy, sometimes it's very hard. Like, I mean very hard, you know, Florida, everything is dry, it dries up if it doesn't rain. So it's just very hard and I feel like these studs will do the best versus like the Mercurio or the Temples or, or even maybe the Hypervenom will be okay. I haven't really played that much in the Hypervenom or the, the Vision or the Phantom for that matter. But um, I just like the more um, rounded, a little bit thicker. Um, these aren't that heavy, surprisingly, um, for being uh, a leather shoe. So I'm, I'm, I like that. But basically, it's 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 a soccer shoe. A very old. If you can see, this is kind of reminiscent to like um, a Copa Mundial. I would say the pattern that they used. Um, and your fold over tongue that just has the brand name right there, Enriquez, as you can see, and then the elastic. Just, and like I said, this is all a very good durable leather. 
Um, if you're into that, if you're looking for that, these are going to run you about $70. Think about it, $70. Not even the Copa Mundial, which is a kangaroo leather, the same type of shoe that you're going to get. That's going to cost you about $120 to $130, depending on where you get it, maybe. Um, I know they did release the new um, Puma Platinum King, which is going to run you about $200. Now, that one is a little bit more modern shoe from what I've read up on. I wish I could get my hands on them, but not yet. Um, that's an all blackout, and it's just with the modern touch, still leather. Uh, but the Copa Mundial, you know, is something um, traditional, old school that you're going to get. But, like I said, it's going to cost you a lot. You could get two pairs of this for less. I still got two shoes for less than the Copa Mundial and the quality is good you know one thing I've learned about Mexican products is they're pretty durable you know they're gonna last a really long time as I've said with my um, Concord review and I did play in those in the Concords and I, they were great at first I'm not gonna lie I put them on when I was walking around inside the house and they felt like my foot was not locked in very well but I feel that that's because I pulled the tongue very far down and um, it, it didn't keep me stable in. But once I started playing, I didn't even notice it. I thought I was going to have blisters, honestly. But I jumped right into the game with them. Um, and I was fine. I didn't have no blisters or anything of any kind. Um, so I do have a game today. As you can see, that's why I'm in my Nike jersey. But I'm not going to try them out yet. Because I really want to get a full play test. Um, unlike the Concord. I'm, I'm thinking about doing a play test of all my leather shoes. And compare ranking them. I got... These now, I got the Concords, I got Tiempos, I got Premiers, um, and I have the Copa Mundiales. Um, so I'm going to try to do a playtest of all of them and then give my honest review and um, my critiques, I guess, with the good things, the positives of each, and then decide a winner on which one I feel would be the best for value, for money, and for everything. So I'm going to do talk about everything. So from value to money to if you can afford anything, what you should get. Um, so this is the black version. Their logo is just an M, obviously. You can see right there. Big M right there. And the inside. And it's just a basic design. Basic plain design. Nothing special, but, you know, a good shoe. A good quality shoe that's going to be leather. And probably last you a really, really long time. So, now let me grab the other color away. Okay, so now I have the other colorway here, and as you can see right here, they celebrated their 40th anniversary, 2006. So they haven't been a brand that's been around a very, very long time, uh, as opposed to other brands, but um, I see a lot of pros wearing this shoe, um, a lot of Mexican players wearing the shoe. So, I mean, that says something. I know people get paid to play in, in certain shoes and stuff like that, but at the same time, you have to be comfortable. You have to. You're playing at. You're playing at a professional level. This isn't just rec, or you're going down and getting paid for a sponsorship to talk about a shoe. Like you're gonna be on the field competing at the highest level. I'm. I'm sure you have to be comfortable and wear something. So we're gonna open up this colorway. Is a little bit out there, but something that I wanted personally. And so as you can see, it's just a pink, very nice, very bright, white logo of the m right there it's got like a lightest goldish tannish bone color i don't know on the bottom with pink cleats and same quality leather same excellent design in shoe right there and so yeah this is the shoe right here this one has a white tongue and then you fold it over and you got your pink, which are elasticated um, thing. And then, actually I can see, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, this camera, but it's got like a um, snake skin um, texture to it. And I definitely know that's too far away for you can tell, so you can see it. But yeah, that's kind of cool. I didn't, I didn't notice that on the black one, but it has a, a snake skin. Um, this one, well, I think there's something in it, but some paper. It definitely doesn't feel as soft as opposed to the, the black one, but that can be just because of, you know, with the dye and all that. Let me see. 
yeah, this one is just very, very soft. I don't know. This one's very, very soft compared to this one. So this one's gonna be a little bit stiff. I can tell already, as opposed to this one. The leather is very nice, very soft. When I push in on it, you can see that. And then this one is a little bit, I guess it's soft up here, but then it starts to harden and tighten up over here. Um, but yeah, that's my review on these shoes. Um, like I said, I'm gonna um, get the um, play test going, hopefully, as soon as I can find some time. And um, I'll let you guys tell me oh another important thing sorry i always jump ahead another important thing about this shoe is what i like is you can see right here it's got the nails to hold the um the um, upper and the sole plate together most shoes most shoes don't really come with that anymore um so i think that's a good detail because you know they, they fall apart and that's on both you got three up there on this one and then just one big one back there um, I don't know, I guess that's maybe that's a thing with um, leather shoes, just to kind of hold them together a little bit. Um, so I feel they're going to be durable. I'm gonna, Like I said, as soon as I can play with them, as soon as I break them in a little bit, I'm going to be out there playing with them. And hopefully I like them. I'm gonna give, I'll am gonna. i give my updated review once I do all the play tests. But if you're interested in these, like I said, just search Manriquez Soccer Shoes. And here's the name again, in case you want to. Um, on eBay, on Amazon, or on Google, and you should be able to find them. These, okay, so these were sixty nine ninety nine. I don't know if maybe the blackout they considered it a, a higher price tag, but these, guess how much these were? Forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine for a, a leather shoe that is durable. It's you know it's you know if you can see it's pretty good. Folds at the right spots, pretty comfortable. Um, so I can't wait to use them. I can't wait to try them out. So that's my review. Stay tuned for the play test of what I have in mind with all these plus the other shoes. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe as always. If you got any questions or need anything, feel free to let me know down below or shoot me an email. See you at the next one. Peace.